Hey, it's Thinkka here with more Detective Pikachu Returns, the last one. I interviewed most of the folks here, and then we were like, oh yeah, we gotta interview the Pokemon, so... Can I interview Miss Clefable over here first? <laughs> Faye? She looks awfully sus- oh. I guess not? So, let's try Growlithe, because Growlithe hasn't spoken to what happened. Hey, Growlithe. Sorry to bug you when you're already feeling down, but it would be alright if we asked you some questions. Growl? We're here to catch the thief, and we need your help to do that. Go! You're willing to talk if it's help. You're willing to talk to us if it'll help Sanji? Thanks. Sanji? Growlithe's nickname for Dennis, as near as I could tell. That is actually a cute nickname that you that you came up with. Oh right, his name is full Oh right, his full name is Sanji Deitus, so I guess Sanji makes sense. Anyway, Growlithe. Can we start with the questions? Alright. Growlithe, what ha uh what do you normally do around the house besides guard that key? Growl. Gotcha Gotcha. As Dennis's partner, it's your job to guard the mansion. And we already know that the key to the jewel storage was around your neck. Go! It's important to Dennis, so guarding it is important to you. Makes sense. Go, go! She said she'd never let anyone other than Dennis or Barnes even touch the key. Go! So that's why you feel extra responsible for what happened, huh? She's really got a strong sense of responsibility. Don't worry, the two of us are going to crack this case. I suspected it was a Scyther or something because of the cut, but I didn't think of the other Pokemon that are uh, also have blades and could have done it. I'm thinking a Bishop or Ponyard. I don't remember which one of them is red normally, but I don't think Scyther has a red shiny. I know Gyarados does. Anyways, I'm not super nerdy on... I, I'm not super deep on the Pokemon in memory because, again, there are so many. What happened at the time of the incident? Where were you and what were you doing? Well... Do you remember anything about the time of the incident? Go! Yeah. You don't know because you were napping? Oh no! Did someone drug you? Oh, I no Okay, I maybe I'm overboard on the assumption here because, you know, this is a Nintendo game, but... That would suck. That's... I mean, I guess it's better than being... Killed in... But still... Gow! What? Your breakfast is so tasty that you ate too much and it made you already sleepy. Ha! <laughs> Been there, believe me. What are you even talking about? Gow! Gow! You woke up when Barnes got home. That would have been right before all the commotion happened. And when you woke up, your precious key was gone? Growl. Yeah, I can tell you're upset. Gow. You'll do whatever it takes to help us catch the thief? Thanks. We'll come back and ask for an assist if anything comes up. Alright. How was Barnes acting at the time? Gow, gow. She says, by... Barnes is a well kind she says Barnes is a kind of well mannered person. He and Dennis are so close and she's never seen them fighting or arguing. Okay, that's good. Uh what about the wife? Do you see the wife argue a lot? Mr. Dennis really does seem to trust Barnes after all. Gow gow. And Growlithe likes Barnes too. Judging from what Growlithe says, it's hard to think of Barnes as a likely culprit. Yeah, it does, but what about other people in the house? There isn't anything in Growlithe's testimony that could prove us to hope Barnes is innocent. You didn't ask about the other people in the house. Only one left to, only one left to ask is Clefable. I'll do what it takes to get Clefable talking to us. Thanks, Pikachu. Alright. Let's see. Clefable, what can you... Uh, Pikachu, get in the... <laughs> you okay? You have to get over here and interview. I can't do it without you. Faye! What? 
You think we're thieves returning to the scene of the crime? You got it all wrong. We're not here to steal anything. We're actually great detectives looking to catch the thief. Please, can you answer some questions? Fei? Yes, really. Come on, you can trust us. Fei Fei. Yeah, help us out and I'm sure Claudia's bad move will clear right up too. Fei Fei. So you're willing to talk to us? Thanks. Guess Clefable was worried we'd do something bad to Mrs. Dennis. No, we never. I don't think she's on the suspect list unless this guy right there that <laughs> is standing in the back is confusing pink for red. Good lord. Alright, what were you doing at the time of the... Or, what do you usually do normally around the house? Hey. Do you have a job here at the mansion? Hey. No, uh, uh, no job per se, unless you count spending time with Claudia. Isn't it tough hanging out with someone so prickly? Faye. Claudia's not a bad person, you say. Sorry, don't mean to be insulting. Faye, Faye, Faye. Uh huh. So Claudia's always arguing with someone or other. Oh, that <laughs> does not sound like great behavior. You don't need to start arguments all the time. But when it's just you and her together, she st starts to regret the whole thing. Oh, I get it now. Your job is to cheer her up when she gets into arguments. Wow, you're actually pretty nice. I bet Clefable's really important to Mrs. Dennis. All right. So you were you with Mrs. Dennis in the bedroom or whatever that room is that I can't enter up there? Did anything strange happen today? Hey! Clefable says she's got really sleepy while playing in the mansion this morning. Okay, so the growl is so... <sighs> who knew, who, who's saying... Who did sleep? A sleep move or whatever. Does Wimscott even know a sleep move? Because I feel like they could have sent a Wimsicott cotton, dropped the cotton in the room, and then they left. But while doing that, they were stinging, and it was loud enough to hear Growlithe and, Clef and Clefable could hear, hear it, so they fell asleep. And then that's when the other Pokemon broke in. I don't know. I'm probably overthinking this. Okay. Fey, Fey! Then she dozed off and doesn't know what happened after that. That's too bad. Okay. What do you think about bards? Hmm. What do you think of bards? Do you get along with them all right? Hey, hey. Claudia doesn't like bards. So Clefable tries not to have much to do with him. Hey. But she doesn't think bards is a bad person. After all, she says bards ran to help Turner when she got hurt. When he got hurt. Wait. Does that mean Clefable saw Bards going upstairs to help Turner? Yeah, it's gotta. Clefable, what else could you tell us? Fey, Fey! Clefable was dozing near the front door this morning. When Bards got home from doing stuff outside, she woke up and greeted him at the door. Fey, 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 Fey. Then Clefable and Bards heard Turner cry on the second floor, so they both went running upstairs. Okay, and that's when, to their surprise, they found Turner on the floor. That means when Turner was attacked, Barnes was still on the first floor. Okay. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Open the case okay, notebook and... Let's start deducing. Oh. Also, we haven't done the... Uh... Okay, let's start deducing. okay, I know, I know, I know, I know. We haven't done the Pikachu right. yet. Uh... Oh, I was hoping you would do something else. I've been at it for a couple of minutes here. I don't think Pikachu actually has anything new to say. I was actually meshing through and I am skipping all the old tips. Good lord. Okay, well let's just deduce. I should stop faffing around. Alright, is Bards the culprit? I don't think he is, so let's begin deducing. Okay. Alright, we've got you some useful information. Let's stop and gather our moments. Based on everything we heard, is there anything that suggests Bards is innocent? Let's review the information we gathered and see what we can come up with. Alright. 
Barnes may be the culprit he had access to the key. Barnes may not be the culprit he returned from the mansion after the crime occurred. This is more likely true. Barnes doesn't seem like he would betray Mr. Denise. Which also pairs up with this, but you can only take this at face value. The fact that Cofable was there when Turner cried out, that that would indicate that this. And only the humans could say whether or not, oh yeah, this Pokemon followed me. Like, that would make sense. Okay. Good. We learned that the Clefable greeted Barnes when he returned to the mansion. And Growlithe said she woke up exactly at the same time. Barnes and the others only became aware of the crime after that. That is not that mean Barnes couldn't be the culprit. Barnes was on the first floor when Turner was attacked. That would have made it very difficult for Barnes to steal the jewel. Hmm, I'm not so sure we could prove Barnes is innocent with that alone. Yeah, we can't discuss the testimony that came from a Pokemon. No one would believe us. Well, yeah, but they would be able to corroborate. We would be able to ask them, hey, was the Clefable with you? And they could say yes or no, and that would also corroborate their thing. Looks like we're going to need other evidence to prove his innocence. Okay. Barnes has an alibi, but it doesn't necessarily mean he's the culprit. How can we prove Barnes' innocence? Alright. We can't lift the suspicion of brown bards with Cliff Abel's testimony alone. We're gonna need some other innocence. Nothing immediately comes to nine. At times like these, it's best to try investigating with the other leads. We might find a thread somewhere unexpected that leads us back to this. Alright. To get to the truth of this case, we... To get to the truth of this case, we've got no choice but to find the Pokemon that witnesses saw. What is this reported seeing a red Pokemon at Ducklet? I wonder if the red Pokemon that cut the jewel case is the culprit's partner. It makes sense to think that, but no such human was seen by witnesses. Having said that, though, we might learn something if we can find the red Pokemon. Let's head into the city and get some leads on it. Yep. And we also need to figure out where Ducklet went, because... It seems like it may be of kidnapped or something because it usually is at Bards' side. At this point, it seems unlikely that Bards is the culprit. But then why did Ducket leave from the second floor window? Seems unlikely that it's got nothing to do with the jewel theft. Finding Ducklet would be the quickest way to confirm that. Good call. Let's head into the city and look for her. Alright. Looks like the only way to continue our investigation is to gather info in the city. But where should we go? Should we go after Ducklet or search for the red Pokemon? If you're unsure, why don't we try following Ducklet? I think we had a better lead if we go for the red Pokemon. Oh, right! We did hear that Ducklet was supposed to go buy coffee beans today. I'll bet you she went to Hi Hat Cafe. You're right. We should go search the cafe. Let's not waste any time, Tim. <laughs> He's saying that because he wants his coffee. Alright, so there's not apparently there's nothing to do here. We can't... Oh, I never talked to the police officer or anything. Or what in here? They're still searching the room? Oh, okay. This room is currently under police investigation. Only authorized pers personnel are permitted. Darn. Okay, what about uh, what these two have to say? <laughs> what do you want, great detective? Oh no, hang on. What do you want, great detective? Have you finished questioning Bards? For now, anyway. We just haven't finished gathering our evidence. Does it change the fact that Bards is still a suspect? If you don't mind, would you? could we ask you some questions? If you insist, but I have no intention of sharing confidential information with you. Okay. <laughs> Even though we're asking about him anyways. I was going to say, okay, well, if it's not... I was going to ask him, him if he knows the dad, but maybe not. Excuse me. Is the storage key the reason the police suspect Bards? Oh, so you know that much already. Well, no point in denying it. The only two people who could access the key are the homeowner and his butler, Mr. Dennis and Bards. I highly doubt Mr. Dennis staged all of this by himself, which leaves Bards as the only logical suspect. 
Not only that, there were ducklet feathers at the crime scene, and Barnes's partner is a ducklet. Clearly, Barnes used the key to get in the jewel case and then had Ducklet fly off with the jewel. That's my working theory. Duly noted. We don't have any decision, decisive evidence. We don't have any decisive evidence yet, however. But we're going to find this Ducklet that flew in the coop, and then we'll get the definitive proof you'll see. Well, I'll be continuing my own investigation. Hmm. Suit yourself. All right. What about how is you, how is your other leads? Are you following any other leads than Bard's? Of course we are. We've already collected statements from every last person in this house. Do you mind if I ask you what your impression of each of them was? Well, I suppose I could tell you that much. Mr. Dennis seems rather shaken by Bard's falling under suspicion, and his Claudia wife Claudia is quite reacting quite impetuously. She's been approaching us repeatedly to demand that we hurry up and wrap up our investigation. Oof, that's gotta be tough. I feel almost bad for Brad. One of their staff members, Turner, has been very cooperative with our investigations. He's told us a lot about everything that happened up until we lost consciousness. I suppose that's all I can say for now. Did he mention a red Pokemon? Thank you. We'll keep that, that in mind. The police can question people, but they can't talk to Pokemon. Interviewing the Pokemon around here might help us paint a clearer picture of what happened. Yep. Alright. <laughs> Time to interview you, you now. Manic. No need to glare at this like that, Manetric. Manetric. Calm down already. We're not going to get in the way of your police work. Brad's by nature is sure committed to the job. True, and he's been keeping watch, so if anyone tried to hide some evidence, he'd spot it right away. I guess he is helpful in that way, but... Manic! I just wish he'd dial back his aggression before toward me. Alright, come on Pikachu, let's go. We're gonna go outside. The other thing I want to investigate that would maybe help, but the game may not, is the garden area, especially around the second floor window. Like, if we were to explore that... Huh? You mean, you won't help me? I understand how you feel, ma'am, but we're in the middle of an investigation right now. Yeah, but what should I do? Hmm. Looks like that woman has a problem. Sure does. I don't know. I don't think it has anything to do with our case, but it's not hard not to want to help someone who's in trouble. That's the spirit, Tim. If I see a per, if we see a person or a Pokemon with a problem, let's do what we can to help them. That makes us the city's great detectives. But what we do need to prioritize is our current case. This is something we could help with when we have the time. Right. First, let's hear what she has to say. Good idea. Oh, you can get, like, side quests. So this isn't as linear as I thought. Okay. I have never seen any side quests, by the way. They're in blue if you, uh... Uh, if they're a side quest. Gotcha. Local concerns that you've agreed to help with are added to the list that you can check by why. Keep in mind, some of these police requests aren't necessarily problems in the strictest sense. Excuse me, may I ask what's wrong? My Lillipup's gone missing. Oh no, what happened? We're taking a walk together in Serenity Park. I guess Lillipup's having a little too much fun. He got so worked up and took off like a rocket. I've been searching all over him now for him now, and I'm exhausted. That police officer won't look into it for me either. I don't know what to do. We can't just ignore this. That's right. Helping people is a detective's job, and finding lost Pokemon even more so. We'd like to help you, ma'am. We're detectives, so we're pretty good at looking for lost people and Pokemon. Really? That'd be a huge help. Can you think of anywhere where your Lillipup might have gone? Hmm. Well, I already searched the park pretty thoroughly, but I haven't looked for him in the city yet. Also, my Lillipup likes quiet places, but I'm not sure there are any places around here like that. Oh, I'm sure there are. You, you just haven't looked for him yet. I think that's a quite enough information for us to go on. Please wait here while we search for him. 
I'm so sorry to add to your workload when you already look so busy, but thank you. I hope you find my sweet little pup. If we see a little pup during our investigation, we should talk to it. All right, find lost little pup. Okay. I was gonna, I was gonna point out that on the side over here, there's like the side of the mansion over there. I was hoping that we could look at it, but I guess not. We should talk to the Whimsicott and see if they've been in the mansion before. Whimsy? Cut, cut. They seem happy. What are they talking about? They're saying that no matter how many times they visit the city, it's always bustling and full of fun. Full of fun, sorry. Do you suppose they witnessed anything? We could certainly ask. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what about you, Wes Whimsicott? Win. Oh, you ride on sweet little winds that takes you all over the world, huh? The se city seems livelier than usual whenever the Whimsicott arrive. Whimsy! Ah, uh, okay. Soon you'll be leaving this city to travel somewhere else? Win. Oh, so you like coming here every year because you can meet so many different Pokemon. Aw, uh, I'm happy to hear that. Alright. About Cotton. Mm -hmm. Is this Cotton yours? Wim, wim. Yeah, the Whimsicott says it's theirs. Okay. Glad we got it noted. We actually found this in Mr. Denise's mansion. I don't suppose you've been in there. Whimsy? Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. Come on, you gotta remember at least that much. Whimsy! Oh, this, is do this one does remember. What did it say? It thinks it remembers going into the mansion while playing with its friends. It thinks so? That's not a very clear answer. Yeah, let's ask for more details. Okay, how did you get in the Denise residence? Was the window open? You said you might have been in the mansion, but how did you get inside? Wim. Hmm. You went through the window with your friends? Why would you do that? Wimsy? You don't remember anything after eating breakfast this morning? The heck does that mean? Wait, are they the ones that are causing the sleepiness? Or are they... A Were they asleep while flying? Please, really, it's just important... It, please, it's really important. Just try to remember. Wim, Whimsy! Some human you don't, don't know asked you to do it. What was the stranger like? Wim, Whimsy! You don't remember because it was someone you never seen before, huh? Now look here, you might be an accessory to the theft. Caught? You have no idea what I'm talking about to you, do you? You think the Whimsicott may have been unknowingly involved in the crime? If they were, they were blissfully ignorant of it. After all, playing pranks is kind of their whole ordeal. This complicates things. Alright, did you see a red Pokemon anywhere? Hey. Have you two said a red Pokemon anywhere? Caught! Caught! Oh, Ponyard is red? And you've see recently become friends with one. Oh, I was, I was close. Okay. Ponyard? It's a Pokemon with blades all over its body. Yeah, yep. I think that guy was also in the mansion somehow. It's well, maybe it dragged it in. And it's true that Ponyard's pretty red. Whimsicott, caught. You often put Ponyard at the terrace in Serenity Park. Oh, you often run into it. Sorry. And on windy days, you play with Ponyard by picking it up and flying it around. Bim. They said they'd like to fly Ponyard all the way down here from Serenity, Par Serenity Park. Serenity Park is just a big park beyond here, right? Yeah, and the terrace is over on the far side. Maybe we could find Ponyard there. Do you remember when you last played with Ponyard? When? When? See? Oh, you've been lately playing together every day? Even today? In that case, we might be able to go there now. Whimsy. If we go meet Ponyard, we should be careful about how do we trade its favorite rock. Oh, yeah. This guy's totally the culprit, but... Okay. How... Where is... Does it have an owner? 
Because I can't imagine the Pokemon wanting to go in unless there's some other force like R or whatever. But that's kind of weird. It feels like a human motive rather than a Pokemon motive. It has a favorite rock? Whimsy, whip? Apparently there's a rock at the terrace that Ponyard really cares about. One time they accidentally stepped on it and then Ponyard got real mad. Wow, that's scary. We better watch where we step. Okay. And lastly, about Ducklet. I don't suppose they've seen the Ducklet flying around, have they? Win? Winsy! Win win! Okay, okay, I get it. You didn't see her. Winsy! If they did see her, I wonder where she went. Alright. Mm. Do you suppose Ponyard is the red Pokemon we're looking for? Apparently, it's good friends with the Wunzikot that went into the mansion. So, it seems pretty likely. It's probably be fastest to go meet it and just ask. Mm -hmm. But we still have to track down Ducklet. Should we look for Ducklet or Ponyard first? Either is fine by me. We can start whichever one you like. Thanks, Pikachu. Well, it's multi-quest. <laughs> and much more. There was a Fero up there. Oh, that's so cool. Anyways, uh, I think I'm gonna, yeah, I think I'm gonna cut this episode short here just cause we can. We do have a lead from our two Whimsicott friends over here, but we're gonna talk to more Pokemon and others in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys then.